press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Guys, welcome to Vote Kids Present India Kids Summit 2020. I have with me the very gorgeous, the very effervescent Miss Sujata Dwibedi. Ma'am, thank you so much for joining us over here. And the first question that I want to ask you about this event is the fact that you know, 20 years before, we could not have even thought about an event which is totally kid-centric. But now people are taking up initiatives, people are coming in so that we can go forward. So, what is your biggest takeaway from this event? What do you think will be your biggest takeaway from this event? I am really looking forward to see you know, how we can scale up uh, what we market to the kids, how we can increase our media spends on kids as a genre. You would be surprised to know that uh, the kids 2 to 14 years in any uh, of our television measurements actually contribute to 20% of the TV impressions. That's a whopping number. Yes, so uh, tell, uh, kids are a very big component and uh, we would see how we can market them better. Yeah. And you know when you talk about this particular event and you know the boom which we have seen say in the last five to six years it wasn't really visible before but now people are actually taking up the owners to actually contribute in this field it's a very unrealized segment as people say but now people are taking up the owners to so that you can take the forward so what do you think can be the biggest challenge to you know get that thing done so see the thing is kids are uh, quite you know into uh, receiving whatever we talk about, our messaging, they actually absorb it very well. But we need to get the messaging right and we need to advertise right to the kids. They are not like the adults. So there is a lot that we need to understand and simplify for the kids. There is a lot uh, that we can do in that area and that's something I am really looking forward to. Talking about right and wrong, a lot of parents feel scared that you know I mean what will my child be consuming what will my child not consume so there's a certain gap that needs to be bridged so what would be your message to those parents as well as the content creators and marketers so that they can ensure that okay fine their children are consuming the right content and what do you think can be the responsibility so uh, you know parents are quite aware nowadays it's very critical that parents should read whatever components are being fed to the kids and whatever is getting advertised is uh, not really what you know they should be following thoroughly but as advertisers I would say that it's important that we responsibly message whatever we are putting up in any of the media we communicate rightly so that uh, you know the products don't look like what they are not we have to be really very true to the kids you know their innocent they are uh, they are that age group which uh, normally simply imitate what they see, they mirror what they see. So we have to be very careful in our communication and at the same time we have to be true to the product. We can't be you know, uh, going overboard and talking about things which the product is not because uh, kids are our future. We have to be all responsible marketers. And lastly before we wrap up, uh, where do you think the kids economy is going in the next five years? Well, in the next five years, I see that, uh, you know, the ad spends on the kids' economy will definitely double. Uh, at the moment, it is hardly 3 to 4 percent of the total ad expense that we have. I think it should reach 10 percent in the next four, five years for sure. Because a lot of focused advertising is happening, a lot of products are coming out which are specific to kids which wasn't there earlier. Um, I would, I'm pretty sure that your insights are going to be helping everyone and I thank you for talking to us and I hope that you have a lovely time going forward. Thank you so thank much. You so much.